I've never forgotten that night. My mother made a bed as best she could with straw and bits of clothing that we had and we settled down for the night. And sometime during the night, there was a tap, tap, tap on the window. In the moonlight, practically, I sat up with my father. And I asked him afterwards if I heard right, and I had this conversation. And he said to her, Haya, you must come. Tomorrow there's an action. And she said, I can't. Hanechka's not well. And he said, bring her with. And she said she'd never make it. And whether it was a patrol or something that disturbed them, my mother closed the window, my father disappeared. Early the next morning, there were the usual sounds and, and signs of an Einsatzgruppen. Yelled orders, dogs barking, screams, and my mother and I were just lying there. But at some point, there was a whack on the door. And my mother very, very calmly got up, gave me a big hug and a kiss, and got up walked to the door, opened it, and closed it firmly behind her. And I was feeling a little better because I'd been warm. But when she didn't come back, I decided to go and look for her. And I saw her, and she was with a whole lot of other people. Now, we always used to look out for each other. So I tried to catch her eye, but she didn't look back at the house, and she didn't even seem to see me. And then suddenly, somebody barked an order, and they started to shoot. And she was in the front row, and I saw her fall, and I saw the blood on the snow, and I knew why she wasn't looking at me, and I knew that I mustn't make a sound. Face to 